Exodus 22. Here you have the law where God said to Israel, you shall not lend to your fellow Israelite for interest. Don't do this. The Lord Jesus told a parable of himself giving out money to his servants. And he says, now go and trade with this. And they went and traded. But one guy took what he'd been given and buried it and hid it in the earth and did nothing with it. A day of judgment, the Lord Jesus says to him, so what did you do with what I gave you? He says, precisely nothing, but I didn't uh, spend it on myself or anything. Here it is, half back, what I gave you. And the Lord says, no, 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 you're condemned. Why didn't you lend it out for interest? Well, the Lord Jesus was a Jew who lived and breathed God's law. Why does he tell the man, why didn't you lend it out for interest? He knew what it says here, you shall not lend out for interest. I think the Lord was saying, look, if you'd have done at least something, even if it was not ideal, and even if it was some sort of technical infringement of God's law, if you'd done at least something, but you did nothing. And we live in a, a lazy age where the name of the game is to just, just chill out and bemoan your hard life and your stressful life and do nothing. And you see, that man is condemned because of that. We're not saved by works. But likewise, if you see the gift of God, the riches that you have been given and do precisely nothing with it, nothing at all, then you won't be in God's kingdom. You cannot be passive to the fact that the Lord died for you on the cross, that you have been loaded with all his riches, and you can say, well, I bury my talent in the earth, and I shall do nothing with it. No, you, you don't really accept what he has done for you and what he's given you, if that's what you do. And yet we all think, oh, but what can I do? I'm not qualified to do this, I'm not good at that, I'm not this, I'm not that. Okay, the point is, do at least something even if it is not ideal, and he will accept you. Action. Faith without works is dead. Just remember that. This is not an intellectual assent that Christ died for my sins. No. Faith in that, trust in that, belief in that, brings forth and elicits action, even if it's not ideal, but something. 